Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and we're playing some Binding of Isaac today. Well, uh, let's see, we'll play our random run, get our week started. And we are playing as Kane again. Following the roll-off of last week's uh, uber-long episode with Kane. But this week, uh, we're actually going to start um, sharing seeds with people as uh, a commenter left on one of my previous videos uh, this or today's seed will be Z6 SF BCQB um, from there we'll see what this uh, seed has to offer for us but as I uh, you know haven't really been making videos of this game for very long uh, that was kind of one of those finer points that I sort of missed along the way because uh, Typically, I, I wasn't using too many custom seeds or anything like that, so uh, I wasn't, you know, paying much attention and, and thinking back to uh, other YouTubers who are also playing this game. They do tend to share their seeds. Um, as to what, you know, the outcome of this particular seed may be, well, it's kind of hard to tell. But that's the joy of uh, playing... The roguelike... Hmm. Alright. Chocolate milk. I can do that. Which uh, allows for charge shots, as well as a uh, pretty good rate of fire up, as it is tagged to, uh, well, pretty much how quickly you can hit the button, but, you know, longer periods of time spent charging, more damage. The uh, previous weekend also saw the uh, Eternal Edition update to uh, the original Binding of Isaac, adding both hard mode and uh, some pretty staunch uh, opposition by way of the new white elite um, bosses and uh, mobs that you have to fight in the game. Makes for a very interesting uh, experience, to say the least. Fighting girdlings. All right, and we got love for an HP up and full health. Moving down to our second floor. So what do we have coming up on the channel this week? Uh, well, I think it's been decided by the uh, the committee, composed of me, myself, and I, that uh, my Let's Play series for Alan Wake and possibly Skyrim are probably going to be leaving the channel. They're not getting really any views. Um, I do enjoy the games, and I'll probably be doing those as live streams instead. Um, and rock here. In their place, I'll probably be playing the games Ziggurat and uh, Nuclear Throne. As, uh, I, I tend to enjoy the the roguelikes, the randomly generated procedural procedural games. So I'll probably be uh, bloating my channel with that, at least temporarily or for the time being. Um, I'll still be maintaining my playthroughs of Batman and Chroma Squad, however. So I'll be. Uh, Staying busy, to say the least. Uh, we've got the Bean, which allows us to two down command on a one room recharge. Uh, it'll give us a poison effect, so probably not a terrible thing. I uh, wish I'd hit that fell up there. But... We don't always get what we want. Let's see, we've got Heart and Bomb, a PhD, or if we were a flying character. Probably one of the most uh, despised rooms for me personally in uh, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, as you need a genuinely, you know, tailored build to get that specific item. Um, just like so, some damaging rooms in the game also require you to, uh... 
have you know high damaging builds lest you take damage. And again, that's not something I'm really a huge fan of. But uh, we'll take the uh, contract from below, which will give me wealth, but at what cost? Which uh, will cause two drops for every normal room drop. Failed terribly as we fight Lust. Alright, we've got ourselves a lemon party, a tinted rock over here from the looks of things. So we'll pick up our blue heart. Be gingerly upon our way. Uh, this could be a likely location for a secret room. So we'll bomb that. No, we've got one bomb left. And let's say we try a. I think I've got a better feeling about this one. Uh, get ourselves 14 cents, which will make uh, a trip to the shop nearly worthwhile. Maybe we can get our 15, which we did. Uh, we have the battery for 15 cents. Uh, why not? Stores energy gives us a double charge, um, or we can carry a double charge. Yeah, drop right on that. Good monstro. Good monstro. And there we go. Got ourselves the magic scab, HP and luck up. In our deal with the devil room, we've got three chests. We'll bump those. It's just in the neighborhood for Guppy's tail and a blue heart, which we will take, because building towards Guppy, always a good thing. Making our way into the catacombs, Uno. <laughs> And we will take all of the hits. Before clearing the room. More skull fellas. Which will evidently be the death of me yet again. <laughs> and there they go. Uh, well, yeah, we're under the 8 minute mark, so I guess we'll be playing through another round. So we may end up with another uh, bit okay train again. We shall see. Uh, picked ourselves up a lover's card. Good for two hearts. Uh, certainly worth taking if uh, we can get ourselves into some sort of temperance type situation. Uh, two keys. Eh, no, we'll, we'll give this a shot. All right, good for some change, a couple of pills for a speed down, and a 48-hour energy, which does us very little good at the moment. So we'll take one of our hearts. Hit our item room, the pinking shears. Uh, actually, one of my more favorite uh, charge items. Probably not the greatest in the game as it has a six room recharge, but you know, combined with things like Nun's Habit, the Nine Volt, um, possibly even Sharp Plug, uh, it, it can certainly uh, benefit us greatly as uh, the Pinking Shears will separate our head from our body, allowing uh, the body to attack for fairly quick hitting damage and a uh, fairly sturdy amount of damage as well, while we can uh, basically plant our head in safety under certain circumstances, such as there being stones in the room, things like that. Uh, we have three keys. There is a golden chest down here, so uh, I think it'd be in our best interest to play that out. And we receive for it the goat's head, which I believe will increase our chances for deals with the devil. 
fight the Zerglings again. As you can see, my body is doing a fair bit of damage while I simply uh, dodge away and let my torso do its thing. And for our trouble, Pageant Boy, which uh, got us six cents, and we'll be traveling down. We've got a sacrifice room below us. Might be uh, viable if we can find ourselves a stockpile of hearts on this floor. Let's see if we can't find ourselves another penny, thus making the, sh the store on this floor viable. Uh, there should also be an arcade. burn two bombs in here, but it will not be the end of the world by any means. Get at least one of our bombs back, and we're at 21 cents. Hot bombs, burning bombs, plus five bombs, and the dime. Money, money, money. Our burning bombs will leave a uh, fire in its wake, causing damage to all who pass it, or pass over it, pass through it are involved with it in, in, in really any fashion, other than looking at it from a safe distance. Shoot us some poops. Another bomb and key. Uh, I don't think this will be a template, no, as there was actually a blockage there. Pop this up real quick. Our seed for our second run, PR7S RJN3. So, back to it. enough to get us into the sacrifice room. Uh -huh, we have some petrified poop. Certainly one of the better items that we can find in the early floors of the game, um, as our continued money problems are slowly passing into non-existence, bringing us up. Uh, we got another full heart, a second full heart, so we can certainly go back to the sacrifice room and probably fight the spiders that await us. But who knows, we may find ourselves in something very nice for our trouble. Spiders and bombs. So that is a negative on the uh, worth our time. But now we know for certain. And knowing is half the battle as 80s cartoon shows would have us believe. Uh, we have our shop. Still should be a uh, an arcade or equivalent room waiting for us somewhere on this floor. There is our secret room. Uh, the piggy bank, we seem to be doing good on... Uh, the funds right now, but we will take this bomb and we'll play out, uh, say 10 cents. Get us up to 65. Check our secret room, which is a fortune teller machine, which I actually should have played as, uh, I believe Kane's luck foot does, uh, make that a very, very good thing for us to do. Um, let's see the loop-de-loop. -loop. 
not my biggest, uh, or my most favorite of uh, things. We got a crystal ball. Gave us uh, a full view of the level. Shows us where our secret room is located. Got a tinted rock here. Bomb that out. For a uh, chest, Bob's brain, we want no part of. Uh, key, half heart, and battery. Again, no real use to us. Uh, though, if I can remember to grab it on the way out, I may run up there and uh, refill our pinking shears. Hit point up. Another deal with the devil. Um, permanent flight. Uh, probably wouldn't be the worst thing, but we're not really sitting in a advantageous health position. I uh, do not want ringworm. So we'll swing back up here. Still passing on Bob's brain. And we'll make our way down into... <clears throat> our next level. Caves Uno. Claim our monies. Have our shop right here. Or storeroom, possibly. Ah, uh, the rusty key. Okay. 15 cent habit. Absolutely. We will absolutely be taking that. That uh, means we receive one um, bud of charge per hit that we receive, as well as a justice card, which will uh, uh, provide us with a drop of every type located in the floor. Have a uh, golden chest here. Been doing okay as far as. Golden chests are concerned. Uh, key and two cents, so we're two cents ahead for having opened it. Get the torso out of the way. chest has to offer. A full heart, so we'll go and bump that. Get the bomb blow everything clear, and we'll take this heart, so it's ultimately a wash. More of these guys, again. As well as the annoying turrets. Still no item room for this floor as of yet. So we'll be heading deeper, or rather back out into uh, the wilds here. Um, I... What, do we have a pill and a key in here? Yeah, we'll see what the pill has to offer. A range down. 
probably of any of the down pills, aside from a health down, the last thing we genuinely needed. ourselves into a, a couple of half hearts here in uh, a moment's time. We uh, may be calling this run a wash as well. But that doesn't mean we give up. No, sir. Uh, we've got Envy. Which, uh, go get him, Tiger. Bust up those bodies. Come on. For another trolley bomb. And a key. was I thinking? Oh, I probably thought I could fly. Anyway, uh, that was today's Isaac uh, train wreck. If you have enjoyed the video, please be sure to press the like button down below. Share with your friends, add to your favorites, or subscribe to the channel. You can leave any comments, questions, or critiques you have for me in the comments section below. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback. And if you're so inclined, I can be found at, uh, on Facebook and Twitch TV, where I've been known to do the occasional live stream. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming.